Let's go. Come on, Boston. Oh, Boston. Who's going to, I will not be there, who's going to the Boston Marathon in uh, about six weeks from now, roughly, seven weeks? Who's going to be there? Who's racing? Let us know down in the description. Uh, it's it's interesting. I actually would love to hear the story from Adidas, Adidas, over in Germany, how they, I don't know, basically just the, the marketing and branding process for the Boston lineup. The Boston nine all right this is the 12 okay so the the longer i do shoe reviews we're we're coming up i i I think we're about at five years of doing running shoe reviews for me and the nine the boston nine the adidas oh what a beautiful shoe it's favorite boston by far remember the boston 10 the huge change that they made to the lineup rough 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 changes the 11 a little better the 12 a little better okay i will say the 12 is better and there's all the scores okay in case you not need to proceed with your day the 12 is better than the 11 but man that boston 9 was awesome it was it was lean it was simple the midsole was not complex you didn't have to overthink your foot strike through the gate cycle it was a beautiful thing but i gotta say just a little a little uh, uh public service announcement is that uh the the more i do shoe reviews if there is a shoe out there that you love, that you are like, ooh, this is my bread and butter right here, I really, 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 really would recommend stockpiling. Like, I'm kicking myself that I don't have five pairs of Mach 4s, Hoka Mach 4s, in my closet, or five pairs of uh, Asics Nova Blast 1 in my closet, or, uh, frankly, Rebel V2 in my clot. Like, these shoes that are just nailed, they just nailed it. They didn't overthink it. They didn't change the shoe. Like, the radical change from the Boston 9 to the Boston 10, um, just stock up. And if you really want to get crazy, you can saran wrap the shoes so that the air, and keep them in a cool place, a, not you know, a dry, cool place, a uh, dark place, and you, there's people out there that will show you on YouTube where you saran wrap your shoes in a special way to keep them preserved so that the midsoles don't go dead on you. Basically, you want to kind of like vacuum seal the shoes. I know I'm getting a little crazy here, but I'm just telling you, like, sometimes shoe lineups change like the Boston lineup, and it's not always for the better. Let's dive in. Adidas Boston 12. Quick specs on your screen, okay? Good testing out there. Uh, semi, let me just confirm. Yes, yeah, semi gusset through the tongue. The lockdown was, okay, not much better, but it was definitely better than the Boston 11. I, they changed the eyelet chain. Uh, great job there, Adidas, updating the eyelet chain. I'm still a little perplexed by the heel counter approach for the Boston line. Really, most of the heel counters in all Adidas shoes. It's just not quite my style. I remember the Boston 11, though, was a very hard, rigid. They did soften it up a little bit, that heel counter in the Boston 12. Love the padding. It helped with the, the lockdown in the shoe. Okay, there's my upper scores for the Boston 12. Uh, I love the, the, the toe box. A little bit of protection there for... Uh, running in the rain as far as a, a, an overlay through the uh, toe box on the vamp side as well. And I'm pleased. Not jumping out at me like in a big, big way. Like not a perfect lockdown, but I'm pleased with the upper and what they're doing with the uh, the updates from the 11. Okay, moving on to that Light, light Strike 2.0 midsole uh, combined with Light Strike Pro. Uh, so it's dual density. I always I always like that. And they updated the rods. Let me just do this test here. Yeah, the rods are not as rigid. Oh, it's a little dirty. Hold on. The rods are not as rigid compared to, again, the 11. And I love it, Adidas. So it's it's not, you know, I'm not, it's not a, it's not a, okay, maybe it's a tempo shoe. It's a little heavy. Let's just confirm the weight. I believe it was about 8.7. And again, these are good updates, Adidas, but oh, I love the nine. So they did almost, not quite an ounce, but they almost dropped the shoe weight by an ounce from the, from the 11 to the 12. Let's just confirm. Let me just zero this out real quick. Okay, I believe it was like 8.7, 8.6, all right? So uh, the 11 in my size was 9.3, I do believe, right around 9.3. So good updates there. Um, it's a firmer landing. 
Just keep it. I think most of you know that if you're familiar with the Boston line at this point, it's not a soft landing. This is not uh, this is not a rebel. We'll just put it in that category onto the outsole. Um, and oh, yeah, how would I use this shoe? Definitely a daily trainer. Again, just a, a little too heavy for a tempo day. You could, you could for sure, but you're just gonna, you're gonna put a little more work into your legs if you do use it for a tempo day. And then I would not, it's just a classic, I'm gonna say daily trainer. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do a long run in it either. It's just, it's, there's other shoes out there that I would choose for long, like the Triumph uh, lineup from Sockety. That would be my long run shoe in case you're in the market for a long run shoe. And definitely not an easy day shoe because it's just a little too firm through the foot strike. Outsole, lots of rubber, uh, continental rubber, good durability, good score for the durability. Uh, I don't love the outsole. I like I like that they have a little a notch here. Uh, it's not a decoupled groove, but a little notch there so you can see the rods between the Light Strike 2.0 midsole foam and the Light Strike Pro. And yes, the Light Strike Pro is the softer foam, which is right under the footbed. And actually, let me just speak in a footbed. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, there it's always a little paper thin there for the um, sock liner, right? Paper thin, uh, nothing to write home about. That's it. Upper, midsole, outsole. How would I use the shoe? Weight of the shoe. Um, twist test, little goosey, loosey goot. Not, not bad. A little loose, a little, a couple geese across the screen, couple geese for you all. That is that. Um, again, scores on the screen. Nothing uh, to write home of. Oh, the price point. Oh, man. Oh, that's a lot. I, I went four. I went four. That's just a lot for me for a daily trainer. Now, I do think you're going to get 500 miles out of it. You should get a good amount of miles out of this shoe. In fact, of course, info at demoreglobalrunning.com if you have photos. That is that. Um, I'm not doing backflips, but it's moving in the right direction, the whole lineup. Again, bring back the nine. Bring back the nine. Bring back the nine. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. Onward and upward. I'm headed to, to Vegas to hang out with some DGR runners out in Vegas for rock and roll time. So we're going to have a good old time. We'll make a blog for you out there. All right. We'll toss a two. You know what? I might go Boston nine. Oh, man. Right there. Right there. All right. See beauty. Work hard and love each other.